And howdy, everybody. Howdy. Hello. Howdy, Hello. howdy Colby. Howdy, Ashley. Hello. Uh, it was really kind of you all to wear the same clothes as before. Well, I mean, I don't like to wash my clothes. I just like to wear the same thing over and over, <laughs> over again. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do a quick prayer over this. Hello, Father. Thank you very much for this opportunity to, to learn and think. And uh, we are told, you have told us to come and reason with one another. And uh, that's what we're doing here. And we would ask for your discernment and your guidance uh, to show us what we need to know. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' Yeshua's name, amen. Okay. So, what is the name or title of God? Right? I God most high. Yes. Sorry. Okay, I am. Mm -hmm. And I said God most high, so there's two. Okay. I am that I am. Okay. I, said I am, but it's another way of saying it. Right? Alpha and Omega. Okay, Alpha and Omega. And isn't that also applied to Jesus? Yes. Mm -hmm. Which would also be Aleph and Tav okay. in the Hebrew. What about Jesus? Yeshua. Salvation. Salvation. We've been reading too that says uh, in the Old Testament, God, Yah, says, My name is Salvation. Well, there's another one, Yah. What else? Yahweh, Elohim. Mm -hmm. Yahweh, Elohim, Yahovah. Jehovah. Is that how you pronounce it? What? Adonai? Is that how you pronounce it? Adonai. Mm -hmm. There's Jehovah Jireh. You took mine. Yeah. El, El, El Shaddai. El Shaddai. Um, I don't know how to say it in Hebrew, but he's our shepherd, the, the good shepherd. Yahweh Rohi, R O H I. Okay. What about Savior? Did we say that? Mm hmm. Um, any others? You're muted. The Lion of Judah to be Yeshua. Lion of Judah, mm -hmm. right? What about Lamb. the Lamb? The Lamb of, of God? Lord, Christ, Christ, Messiah, Father, yes, Messiah. Everlasting Father. Right, Everlasting. Oh, one of my favorite Ancients of Days, the Ancient of Days. Mm -hmm. That just, in my mind, that conjures up uh, an image of a throne and glory and so far back in time that we just got no ancient before time is even invented. Mm -hmm. Um what else do we have? We have Salvation Savior. Oh, Abba. I guess that would Abba. go with Father. Abba. Mm -hmm. Father. Redeemer. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's yours? Hey, what? Olivia, what's yours? <laughs> wonderful Prince of Peace. Yeah. <laughs> wonderful, yeah. Prince of Peace. Emmanuel. God with us. Anything else? Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's there's probably dozens more that we're not mm -hmm. just coming up into mind right now. Consuming fire. 
Oh, consuming fire, <clears throat> living waters. Yeah. Water of life. Okay. So, so it's also the Lord of our righteousness. Lord of our righteousness. Mm -hmm. the Yah, the God, Yah Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yehovah mm -hmm. Rapha. Rapha. Yep. Jehovah. There's a couple of them. Yehovah Shama. Faithful and true. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's that's enough to get us to the point where now I want to ask the question, and this is rhetorical at this point, but I want people, you all and everybody that's watching, to, to give this some thought and think about it. Okay. In Revelation 13... Verse 17, it says, In that no man might buy or sell, save that he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. What is the beast's name? And taking that in the same vein as we are told that he wants to raise himself up to be like the most high. <clears throat> the Redeemer? Well, I'm just, just thinking. Maybe he would just copy and steal God's names? Maybe. Well, if, <clears throat> okay, so if Yeshua says, <clears throat> I have declared your name, and I, ha I will declare it. So everything he did, not only from his name himself, but everything he did is a declaration of who the Father is in the name of the Father. So what if, like you're saying, Ashley, what the enemy is going to do is create a doppelganger of those names mm -hmm. of the as the likeness and the character because a lot of times a name is this character like when like we just read in hosea he the children were the character or the sin of the nation so this so, is this is what i this is what I've been pondering. Yah has many names and titles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When the dragon, I mean, we know the dragon, the serpent, Satan. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't he also? But then that brings us to the mark or number of his name, right? Or the name or the number of his name. We're looking for one. It may, it may be dozens. And so instead of worrying about that, let's just focus on Abba. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? What's the uh, old thing about the how they teach? The government officials to spot a counterfeit dollar bill is by mm -hmm. over and over searching the one that's real. Looking Reviewing the, the one that's real. Review the one. Re look at the real one. That's where our focus needs to be on our true father, our true savior. Well, I I think true that does two different things. Number one, it reduces fear, mm -hmm. and it creates a calm because he's in charge of whatever's going on and we can't, there's nothing that's in our, our, in our, that we can control. Yeah. And so much of this is, is just a, a mindset and how we live our lives as well. And I've, I've heard, I heard someone use this kind of example at one point 
the opposite of of sin is not or let me give you an example like we'll say the opposite of homosexuality is not heterosexuality Op the opposite of homosexuality is holiness the opposite of of alcoholism is holiness the how the, like the, the way to like you don't look at okay i'm going to stop this sin by putting my focus on something else because then that focus you put on something on something else is now an idol, so to speak. That's what you're striving for. The goal is to strive for holiness. And I think that's the same kind of concept of this is if we're so focused at the beast, we're so focused as to what is this beast going to be? What is, what, I'm going to keep my eyes out and my ears open to trying to identify where the beast is. But instead, if we focus on holiness, if we focus on Christ, we focus on Yahweh, that's not going to matter because we're going to know exactly what we're looking for. And when that does come, we're going to be identified mm -hmm. immediately because we've already got our focus solely on the sides of holiness. Amen. All right. I the verse in Revelation, keep the testimony of Yeshua and guard his commandments. Mm -hmm. Well, he told Abraham, be perfect as I am perfect, walk with me perfectly. Well, perfect doesn't mean perfect in the sense that we like perfection, like we see it in modern society. Mm -hmm. It is holiness. It's being right. set apart. It's focused mm -hmm. on, you know, walk with me, walk in my ways. Yep. Awesome. So everybody just ponder this, think about it. I know some people are going to get angry. Yeah. I'm never watching that trash channel again. <laughs> but it's worthy of your consideration. Pray on it. Thank you, B. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Colby. Puma man. Yeah. I love you all, and we will talk to you soon.